Right, it's time for entertainment now, and Miss G has joined me uh, with uh, some story that's coming from way back. It's about Christopher Leke. If you remember, she went mute some time back, and uh, she's been speaking. And I believe she's been speaking for the very first time. For the very first time, she's opened up, and uh, just to make it, you know, snappy, she says, you know, She's not remorseful. She's always wanted to do this. She thought about it earlier in 2016 or 2015 or so, and she was discouraged. This time around, she decided to do it. She unfollowed everybody so nobody could influence that decision. So let's hear Christopher Leke. My family didn't know those pictures were coming out, so it surprised them as well. And then um, some some comments were out there so they just jumped and defended me but what, what were the pictures for was it for a project well i've always wanted to do it i wanted to do it i think in 2016 on my birthday but a friend discouraged me and then i took a chance and did it in 2017 and that's it so it was for the public anyone who sees it <laughs> And I had unfollowed everyone before the pic my pictures, you understand? So I just wanted to unfollow people so I can just post what I want, be myself without having to, you know, have influence from people I follow or, yeah, people who follow me. So I just want that freedom to do what I want. That's why I unfollowed people. And you asked me, why don't I want to follow people? And I just kept it short and said, I would rather follow God, yes, yes, and not follow people. I felt that there was something wrong with you psychologically. I wanted to do it. But I had my fears, I had my inhibitions. What would my family think? What would my parents think? What would my fans think if I went nude like that or something like that? So I wanted to just deal with that, you understand? But the environment in which I, it came into, like people know me here, the way they took it, even the laws which I wasn't aware of, you know, took it that it's not legal and all that. So. It came as a surprise to me as well, but it's just something that I did to step out of my comfort zone. Yes, yeah, so to step out of that zone that kept me. Like, because I'm an actress from beauty pageant to modeling to acting, a few people must have seen my nude, my nakedness on set and all that. Some actresses, some colleagues, and all that. But I still had that fear of my body. But ever since I did that, I'm just okay the way I am. Naturally, I didn't even think this would be news. I was shocked myself. I had to be indoors for like, for some time. I didn't think this would like blow up like that. Like an actress goes, if, a, if maybe your pastor goes naked, you can tell me, I don't understand. An actress does a nude photo and then the country stops for like two weeks. I don't understand. I didn't get it myself. So I was also like, it was too much for me too. Mm. It was too much for me. Like I, I was seeing like headlines, my own friend journalists writing all sorts of things, colleagues jumping in. I know most of them wanted to make headlines as well, but the kind of things I was reading, yeah, I was shocked myself. It really it. affects your relationship with family because your mother, your auntie came. I remember I spoke to your aunt, I spoke to your sister. Mm -hmm. You know, they came in to defend you. But I know deep down them, they were hurting as well. Did it, did it break them down? I hear your mom couldn't speak because she was really, really worried. They were hurt because they, they were also reading the kind of things people were writing about me and then the insult. And that's why they jumped in. At the point, I told my sister to just stop. But they are the type that they won't stop. I'm the type that I can just ignore. But my kid's sister won't ignore. My family, they don't ignore. They will fight back. This whole thing taught me a lot of lesson. And the most important thing is the people who love you are going to love you regardless, OK? So when this thing came out and people thought all sort of thing had happened and taking it out of context and all that, some of them, okay, some people, like, like what they wrote, obviously, they were behaving different, like not the people I know. But the people who love me, they cannot even find faults with me. And that's example, like my family, my, they're okay. But do you have any remorse? If it would it be something that you wish never happened? No, if it didn't happen, what is happening to me now won't happen. Like the lessons, the experience, the how I feel, I won't have that. I feel great. When you went to Daome, they said you had gone for some juju. The only thing I believe in is Jesus. Jesus is the true power. When you have Jesus, right, you don't you don't uh, succumb to laws of like 
all this juju or what people think or what people, because at the end of the day, nobody can help you. That that's the truth. The harsh truth is only Jesus can help you. Now you know when the nude photos came out, I was shocked by them. Mm -hmm. But this interview where she's saying that she doesn't really find anything wrong with it, I don't know what to make of it. Now I'm yeah, you can say dumbfounded. I'm, I mean, I'm at a loss. Like uh, Lowen would say, I can't think, you can't about, think far. about this one. Well, I don't know what to say as well, because at, at a point, I didn't know what to ask her anymore. She doesn't find anything wrong with it. She feels great. She says she's been a model. People, she's acted with her, seen her body. She doesn't think that it's new. She didn't find anything. Wow. Yeah.